We have just heard from a representative who has confirmed that the former California governor and action star is recovering from surgery here at Cedar Sinai Medical Center. And some very <laughs> exciting new additions now open at Downtown Disney. I'm Chelsea Edwards. I'll tell you what all this is for coming up. Now at 11, a tearful plea to come home tonight from the sister of a North Hollywood woman who vanished last week. You can imagine what a difficult day this is for family, for friends, and for their classmates here at Century High School in Santa Ana as they all try to come to terms with this tragic loss. This has just happened. You can hear the firefighters shouting. You can actually hear the flames shooting out of this home. You can just feel the excitement and the energy here in Hollywood. We're now just hours away from the 90th Annual Academy Awards. The debate about the homeless crisis here in Orange County set to be discussed yet again today as city leaders all gather here in Santa Ana for a hearing. The plan initially talking to some of these protesters was to stop at Staples Center, which they did momentarily, but as you can see on the move again, this really was a celebration of diversity and also an important reminder to students that immigrant families are a very big part of the LA Unified School District. It's really hard to see it so thick and soupy. There you go. We just saw one. Sorry, we're trying to navigate through these lines here. Take a look. You see that sparking. This is happening over and over again. These are these down lines that firefighters are so concerned about. This is a very passionate crowd. These protesters were dropped off by the bus load, as many as 2,000 total. If I step out, you can see how many have gathered. Commuters of this area are certainly in for quite the challenge. Five different stations along Metro's Green Line are all going to shut down for a total of about two months. <laughs> I'm going to sign off reporting live from downtown Disney, Chelsea Edwards, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And... Wow! Thanks for joining us here at Eyewitness News at 7 here on KDOC TV. Good night. Well, this is right where tonight's protest started, right at Pershing Square, with just a couple of hundred people initially. Now, as you mentioned, that group has grown into the thousands and does not appear to be dispersing anytime soon. For the third night in a row, hundreds of frustrated anti-Donald Trump protesters hit the streets of downtown L.A. <laughs> Tonight, they took off from Pershing Square, starting a miles-long march through the city. Oh, we've all made a huge mistake. We refuse to accept it. Many in the crowd say they're not driven by anger, but rather a sense of unity. I just want love and peace to be spread. This is not what, what we want. What we want is for this to not be necessary. Carrying her two-year-old daughter on her hip, Maria Martin says she's looking to the future. This is the first step towards, you know, getting petitions granted and getting um, politicians to actually stop and listen because they don't want the streets closed down all the time. They don't want their freeways being shut down. We sent a message to Washington, D.C. That, that Donald Trump is not uh, the president. Now we didn't want him. Others like Tyrone Cole and his wheelchair-bound mother say they want action now. How do you hope that you're going to change the outcome of this election? We need a recall. <laughs> LAPD prisoner transport buses and dozens of police cars follow the protesters as they weave through city streets and sidewalks, at times snarling traffic. Many drivers we spoke to didn't seem to mind. The future is much greater than being stuck in traffic. But others say enough is enough. <laughs> Not only a trap, but I'm also scared. I tried to escape and I went the wrong way. Stuck and worried while trying to get home from work, Jenny Nahew says she understands the protesters' frustrations but just wants to move forward. Hopefully it's going to end soon. Likely not going to end soon. The biggest protest yet expected to be held tomorrow. As many as 11,000 people expected to meet at MacArthur Park at 10 o'clock in the morning and then march to City Hall. ABC7, of course, will have live team coverage. Now we're on the ground here. Let's take a look at what's happening in the air. JT Albert is live over those protesters right now. JT, what's it looking like from your perspective?